This video just has a lot of practice problems uh, applying some of the properties of exponents. So in letter A, we have 6 squared. That exponent indicates that we want to write the base 2 times, so that would be 6 times 6, which is 36. In letter B, we have negative 6 uh, quantity squared. That means we want to write the base of negative 6 twice, which would be negative 6 times negative 6, which would also be 36. Letter C, we have negative 6 squared. How is letter C different than letter B? Well, in letter C, uh, the base is only 6. The negative is treated as multiplication. And in order of operations, exponents come before multiplication. So actually, really, what we're um, squaring is just the 6. And then we just negate the result. So really, this is going to be negative 6 times 6. And this one will be negative 36. Again, in order of operations, exponents has priority over multiplication, and that negative is treated as multiplication. So this one should be negative 36. In letter D, we have negative of negative 6 quantity squared. So this time we're squaring negative 6, but that negative is still out in front. So we have this negative out in front, and then we have negative 6 twice. So we have three negatives, which means the product will be negative, and 6 times 6 is 36. In case you haven't had enough of uh, base 6, we have 6 to the negative 2. That negative exponent indicates we're taking the reciprocal of the base. So we would rewrite this as 1 over 6 squared, or 1 over 6 and then in parentheses quantity squared. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit nicer to do. And then we can simplify 1 over 6 squared as 1 over 36. Notice that a negative exponent does not affect the sign of the base. If the base is positive, it's going to stay positive. Um, in terms of the negative exponent. The, the square will have a different effect, but the, the negative itself um, just indicates you're taking the reciprocal. Here, letter F, we have negative 0 0.4 or negative 4 tenths quantity squared. That's negative 4 tenths times negative 4 tenths. 4 times 4 is 16. 1 tenth times 1 tenth is 1 one hundredth. And negative times negative is positive, so it would be 16 hundredths or 0 0.16. And letter G, 2 fifths to the negative 1 literally means Find the reciprocal of 2 fifths, which would be 5 over 2. In letter H, we have negative 1 seventh to the negative 1. That literally translates to find the reciprocal of negative 1 seventh. That would be negative 7 over 1, which is just negative 7. Again, this negative stays because when we take the reciprocal of a number, the reciprocal has the same sign as the number itself. Letter I, 2 fifths. Squared, so we want to distribute the exponent. So that would be 2 squared over 5 squared, which would be 4 over 25. Here we have 2 fifths to the negative 2. I would deal with the negative part of the exponent first. So that negative indicates it wants the reciprocal of the base. And the reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. And now when I write this, it's going to be 5 halves squared, because I haven't yet dealt with the, the 2 part of the exponent. So I'm going to distribute that now. That's going to be 5 squared over 2 squared. And that would be 25 over 4. In letter K, we have 12xy to the 0. And the answer here is 12x. Um, that 0, the base of the 0 is y and y alone. So this would become a 1. And it would be 12x times 1, which is 12x. In letter L, 2 fifths x to the 0. So this time, we're raising 2 fifths x to the 0 power. Here, the entire answer would be 1. 